everyone so this is floor's five week update and breastfeeding update and that kind of stuff and postpartum even though it's kind of like there's really nothing to talk about with me but um for floor this week she has had her first bottle she had it at like four weeks two days or something like that um i think um by research it's recommended that they start between three and four weeks for an introduction of the bottle and she'll be taking a bottle when she goes to my mother-in-law's house when I go back to work two days a week. So I didn't want her to not be able to take a bottle because her dad, um, he never took a bottle. So um, even though it really wouldn't be a problem, I could run home like during lunch to feed her and stuff, but um, I wanted to introduce her to the bottle and actually went perfectly fine. She took it right away from Josh. I went in the other room. Um, I was upset. But I got it over it pretty quickly. <clears throat> um, I posted on um, breastfeeding forum like my feelings about it. And one of the moms made a good point. She said, just use that time to do something for yourself that you normally wouldn't have time to do. So like do your nails or just something that you've been wanting to do all day but you couldn't because the baby was, you know, you're taking care of the baby. So that's what I do. Um, and uh, we have also started her on... Um, her vitamin D iron liquid drop medication and you can mix that in with the bottle so Josh does the medication and the bottle at the same time so I don't have to worry about any of that stuff so that's good um, I'm pretty sure she's been going through a growth spurt for the past three days because she's been a beast child um, she cries all the time during the day when she's awake she has been refusing to take naps like tiring herself out completely um, today I had to like pretty much force her to take a nap and I mean force her I like laid in the bed with her I, like tucked her arm underneath my side and then held, put my arm across her body and held her other arm so she wouldn't hit her in herself in the face to wake up I could have swallowed her but um, I want to keep swaddling during the night only so she can start to differentiate nighttime from daytime sleep but anyway so I just held on to her and every time she would fuss I would just shush her in her ear a little bit and I'd rock her a little bit so she actually slept for like an hour and 15 minutes um and that was like a record for the past three days because she usually will cry and then she'll fall asleep and I'll either hold her or I'll put her in her crib or her co sleeper and she'll sleep for like 10 20 minutes tops so I was able to get her to sleep for a while, which was good. But um, otherwise, she just cat naps and she wakes up crying. And she's nursing every hour, every half an hour. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's a gross for it. And I really hope it's almost done because it's been three days and it's like terrible. Um, her um, poop has started to become more regularly scheduled, I guess. She has her last poop is between like 10 and 12 p.m. And then she'll, or, yeah, p.m., and then she'll, like, not go until 10 to 12 the next morning. So, um, it really is good for overnights. Like, we'll just put her in a pocket diaper overnight, and that'll keep her all night until she poops. And when she poops in the morning, she, like, poops a lot. Like, a lot. Like, she'll poop, and then I'll wait a little bit, make sure she's done, and then sometimes we'll go to change her, and she'll poop as soon as you change her diaper or something, so it's a lot in the morning. And this morning, it was actually, like, a poop blowout. She, like, I took her diaper off, she pooped right away, and I went over everything, and, like, got up her back, so she had to get a bath. It was crazy. She's grown more hair. I was looking at newborn pictures, and pictures, or I look at her now, or pictures from a few days ago, and you can tell that she's grown a lot more hair on the top and on the sides. Which is surprising because we've always heard, you know, babies lose their hair and I was bald and so my battery or my um, memory got full so I'm not sure what I was saying. But anyway, she got has, she has a lot of hair. Um, we weighed her yesterday which was the 21st and she, she was 10 pounds, 5.5 ounces. So she's getting really big. Um, I'm curious to see what she ends up being in her two-month appointment. Um, so, yeah. She's out of her newborn stuff. She doesn't fit into that anymore. It's, like, too short on her arms, and it's too tight. Um, she's in zero to three. And some stuff she can actually wear three to six, like dresses. Um, everything fits on the bottom because of the cloth diapers, but, like, um, sometimes it's a little big in the shoulders. But um, dresses and... Um, socks and stuff she can fit in three to six so 
I've pulled out a lot of my 3 to 6 sash to see if there's stuff she can wear in the summer. And there's actually quite a few things, so I'm happy to start using that stuff. Um, I want to get her skirts and dresses because we keep her in a onesie usually during the day or like a sleeper type thing because it gets kind of she gets kind of cold because of the air conditioning. Um, but to put her in a onesie and a skirt would be nice to take her out because the skirts you can just flip up unless they have like the attached diaper cover which I would cut out or something because I just want a skirt so she looks like she's dressed and I can just flip it up to change her diaper. So I've been looking for those but um, summer stock is changing over and eBay didn't really have anything so I'll just keep looking for that. I want like a you know, a versatile denim skirt. Um, she doesn't have any more dry skin anymore. That's all done. She does have some baby acne um, on her face. So I'm thinking of getting like a cotton ball and like soaking it in breast milk and just putting it over her face like a toner or something because I've heard that that works for um, baby acne. So we'll see. She has started to track with her eyes, which she has been doing this for a while, but now it's like more obvious and you can tell that she obviously can see a lot farther away than she used to. Sometimes she will stare, like I'll hold her in front of me and she'll stare up at the top of my head instead of that my, meeting my eyes. And if I try to like move my head to look, I'm looking at her, she will like avert her gaze. So I don't know what that's about, but she won't make eye contact unless she wants to. Um, she is smiling a lot more, and but she usually does it towards Josh. So I don't know if that's because I'm home with her all day and she's like tired of me, but she smiles a lot at Josh. Um, usually like during diaper changes or when he first comes home so I'm kind of jealous about that but that's fine um as far as breastfeeding I think that's it for four as far as breastfeeding it's going really well um no problems at all I'm still pumping like five to six ounces a day um my freezer stash is like huge so I don't know if I want to stop but um I kind of don't because I don't want like the reason why I'm pumping so much is because if something happens to me, I don't want her to get formula. So, I don't know if that's like a bad thing, but I want to have that stash just in case. Um, I am using the Milky, the Milk Saver less, and I'm using my Lily Pads more um, because they prevent me from waking up completely soaked. They're awesome. I can do a review on them if people want, but um, they're great for com like keeping any leaks out. My cloth pads I only change like once a day. I have those on all the time. And I do put those on top of the milky or the lily pads just in case, but otherwise no leaking. Um and then another thing I learned today which I did not know this when I pump I put the bottle in the fridge just in case something happens and we need it throughout the day. Um but otherwise I wait until the next time I pump and then I take that milk out of the fridge and put it into, you know, a freezer bag and freeze it. But I had been shaking out my milk before I poured it into the freezer bag because the cream rises to the top and it's like this much. So I didn't want it, like her to not have any hind milk in the freezer milk and yeah, the freezer stash. So I shook it up and then poured it in. But then I read an article on Kelly Mom. It, it said don't shake the milk because it like breaks down the bonds. So now I'm like frig. Are you kidding me? So I'm not really too worried about it because it just like has to do with immunity and like antibodies and stuff and I'm still going to be nursing her so I'm not too worried about when she receives a bottle of freezing milk and then um that day I'll still be nursing her several times so so that's not a big deal but it said to from now on I'm just going to like swirl the bottle to get the cream off but um yeah I think that's it I don't have her because she's with Josh right now because she has been crying all day and he has her in the bath and she's content now and sleeping so I'll just insert some videos that I've taken throughout the week and some pictures and yeah that's it if you guys have any questions or any comments let me know and I will talk to you guys soon bye Hi, you peeping at me. Hi. Good, good getting that. Oh, I got you.
You get and fussy. Are you talking? Are you crazy? You better watch it, she's gonna kick you. Laura is one month old today. Yeah, August 17th, one month and 10 pounds. Goodness gracious. And wearing some cute little socks that daddy got you. Look like little mini baby legs. Yeah. What do you think? Getting little arm rolls? Getting little leg rolls? Look at that. You're a big girl. Yeah. <coughs> That's your brother? Is that your hand? Do you get your nose? Where are you going? Bless you. Besides wanting to eat every hour, her new thing is sucking on her fist. So I guess I will have some milky, huh? Because I think that's what that means. You got that in there good. Yeah, there's no milky coming out. You flipping me off? Okay, let's nurse. Oh, the other hand. Maybe that will have milk. Nah. Okay, well, nurse. 